Today we're taking a look at a replacement remote for Roku's. Now this is a universal remote that a few readers have recommended they got it off Amazon. I will link to this down in the show notes to Amazon. Just FYI, YouTube now puts um, products they think you're showing in the video right below the videos now on their website. That isn't always the product I'm demoing. So look in the show notes to get a link to this exact remote. But this is a universal remote that is not nearly as expensive as some of the high-end universal remotes, but built specifically for Roku's. And it does a pretty good job. I've used it around, I've used it both with an LG TV with a Roku Ultra and a TCL Roku TV, and both worked great. Now, let's kind of dive into it. You see, it's a slightly different layout. Basically, all the buttons in purple are made for Roku, which is kind of cool. So you can look at this and say, you know, here's play, back, forward, pause, um, the aster key for the more, the back key. You know, it's like all these buttons are Roku ones. The gray buttons are the ones that control the TV. On my TCL TV even had a sleep function right there. So I could set the sleep timer on my Roku TV. Now, Roku players don't support that. Um, the few catches here is it is line of sight. This is not a wireless one. Uh, so it won't work with Roku sticks, but even like the Roku Ultra, does support line of sight. I believe all Roku TVs also support line of sight control on this, which is pretty cool. And that's one point. Hey, if you have a uh, Roku Ultra, you lost the Roku remote, but you have an older Roku remote, it will, that has the infrared line of sight control, you can go grab that, use that on a Roku Ultra or whatever Roku you want. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, it's just something to remember there. If you're looking for a point anywhere remote, you're gonna to have to still go buy an official Roku remote. The other catch here is some people may say, oh look, it's got a channel button. I can go on DirecTV now and surf up and down through the channels. No, um, these channel keypads, these is gray volume and gray channel numbers. These control the TV. So for on LG, you could control that and go up and down and access all that. Um, the menu button here is, is gray. That's for the TV menu. The purple one here with the info, that controls the Roku menus. So you just gotta remember that it doesn't include that feature. It does have Netflix pre-programmed button on there, which is pretty cool. Brings up Netflix whenever you press that. Now, setting up is pretty straightforward, but it's like a traditional universal remote. You have this big list that goes on the back here too, and it says, hey, if you have an LG TV, it's gonna be one of these codes, enter it. Up here at the top, they do include the Roku TVs, so you can say, hey, TLC, are these sharp, um, and so on. So it's, it's a nice remote. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than some of those really expensive universal remotes. Um, not sure it's better than a side click, and I'll link to that up here in the show notes, one of these sides, which will show you my review of the side click in the past. That's a universal remote that slaps onto an existing Roku remote, which is pretty cool. Um, the downside with that is it doesn't like include a keypad. Um, a, on here, so you can't, if you have a regular TV with antenna, you can't go, you know, I wanna watch channel 17. Um, so everything has a little give and take. I do think this is a nice remote, the binds feel good, they're um, nicely raised. I feel like I could easily find my way around this remote without having to look at it after using it once or twice. Um, I love the, the ability that it's a full TV remote. I didn't find anything on here which I felt like, oh man, I wish they included this, or I wish they included that. No, I found that all on here very easy, very simple, quickly to get in a great layout. It's kind of long uh, remote, so you're definitely gonna be up here, control your Roku, and then if you wanna control the TV, you definitely move your hands down. Not sure how important that is to you if you're somebody who jumps around a lot channel surfing, but build quality is good, feels like a sturdy remote, good, nice rubber buttons, easy to find. Setup was easy, they have very simple instructions here, it's just um, four steps, or three steps, excuse me, to program the remote to work with your TV once you find which one. The only downside is if you have an LG, there's like 10 different codes, so you may be trying a few different codes to find one that works for you. Um, but hey, some, some readers recommended this, I would say if you want a, a universal, cheap universal remote, I should say, that controls both your TV and your Roku all in one like this, not a bad option. Um, it's not as feature rich as a Harmony, but you're not paying anywhere near that price. So just keep that in mind. Wanna learn more about this? I have a link to it in the show notes. Again, make sure you use the one in the show notes. A, it helps us. B, 
Uh, YouTube doesn't always actually recommend the right product, so just keep that in mind. But here you go, the Universal Replacement Roku Remote. That's not one thumb up out of two. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, check back more for daily or weekly I should say core cutting news, tips, tricks, and reviews.